And this Memorial Day weekend, new data tells us that right around less than half of Americans know the real meaning of Memorial Day. Tonight, Cardio 13's Emily Coffey spoke with both veterans and nonprofit leaders who gave us a better idea of what this holiday is all about. Emily. Sean, I spoke with Doug Sterner today. He's a veteran living in Pueblo who has spent many years cataloging brave heroes of all branches of the armed forces. He says Memorial Day is about remembering those lives lost. This is what Doug Sterner does, cataloging endless stories of American bravery in his book series he self-publishes online. And Memorial Day, the day to remember, brings emotion. Memorial Day is a very, very special day to me because my closest friend, was killed just uh, two months after I came home from Vietnam. Doug thinks about him every day, and he's part of the reason Doug does this, which is why he's reminding people today to celebrate. Memorial Day started as a decoration day after the Civil War. It was originally decoration day, and that was the day that people went out to the cemetery and they decorated the graves of the fallen um, men and women who had died in the war. And that's the best way to celebrate it now. I would say to try to get to a, a cemetery, maybe. We've had um, a lot of cemeteries putting flags in the grounds. We see wreath laying. Um, but get out and honor those that have served. That's Lori Kuntz with the Honor Bell Foundation. She heads up the organization that organizes this bell. One of the only in the nation that has rung at soldiers' funerals remembering is her whole job. Colorado Springs has a really large veteran and active duty military population. And those people know what it's about. They know what Memorial Day is. It's, it's all the community that is learning and they're continuing to learn. And yeah, if you get the chance, head out to Pikes Peak National Cemetery. Doug suggested doing some research on a fallen veteran when going there or bringing flags or flowers to decorate a grave. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Coffey, Cardio 13.